I got many requests from you guys to do another M416 full auto spraying pattern comparison video which includes all the different grips including the traditional ones which are available right now on the test servers. So this is what we're going to do today and we're gonna start right now. Hi, this is Proofsilko. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to be better at PUBG on Xbox, stay up to date with all the related news and patches, or just watch my live streams, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Okay, so I went back to the exact location. I did the previous comparison ad with all the new grips added to the test server on PUBG and did the same spraying pattern with both the vertical and the angled four grips. And I have to tell you, I'm a little bit surprised with the results. So let's see them. So after aligning the patterns, it's clear that the vertical foregrip basically does his job. And additional to that, there's only just a minor horizontal recoil. It has a plus plus on vertical recoil control plus for weapon stability after shot and attachable to Tommy Gun, UMP9, Vector, OG, M416, Scarrel and SKS. Moving on to the angled foregrip, after aligning the spraying patterns here as well, it's clear that the vertical recoil is much higher than on the vertical grip and additional to that there's a significant horizontal recoil as well. And the datasheet says that there's a plus plus for horizontal recoil control, a plus on ADS speed and a minus for weapon steadiness. Attachable to UMP9, OG, M416, Scarrel and SKS. So comparing all the six spraying patterns to each other, in my opinion the half grip won the competition, but also the vertical foregrip is one of the best ones. All the others have either horizontal or vertical recoil, and in some cases the stock M416 is the viable option if you want a full auto spray. In general I would say all the weapon spraying pattern tend to lean to the left, except the thumb grip, but the thumb grip in general has a really wide horizontal recoil, so I wouldn't recommend it for a full outdoor spray at all. But let's be honest to each other, chances are to use the full 30 rounds in a magazine plus one in the chamber to take down an enemy in real life situation, it's pretty low. So let's take into consideration only the first third of the magazines and this changes the picture a little bit. If you take only the first third of the spraying pattern into consideration, it seems like except the thumb grip, all the other grips are useful for full outdoor spraying and additional to that you have to take into consideration consideration all the other attachment stats for example the ADS speed the weapon stability and all the other key information which can decide if you're gonna win or lose the battle so that's all I had for you today guys I hope you found this video useful if you want me to do another comparison with these attachments but with other guns please let me know in the comments don't forget to leave a like if you found the video useful leave a dislike if you didn't subscribe for more PUBG content like this if you're new here and I see you in the next one bye